Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine and having fun. Today, we are going to talk about Unit 2, the reading poet. And our reading today is very interesting and very important. And its topic is so intriguing. Okay, so let's start. Before we start, we have to see the main objective of reading. The main objective of the reading in this unit is matching predicting language. And what is the meaning of predict? To predict something means that you have a clue, a picture or something, and you try to predict or guess what is meant or the implied meaning behind this picture or behind this video or behind this clue okay so this unit will enhance this um, uh, this power in you to predict things from a clue and what is the clue a picture or a video you try to see the video or the picture and try to guess what the implied meaning, the hidden meaning behind it. Let's see this photo and try to see what is happening here. Why is that girl up in the sky and how she got there? Who are these people around her and what are they doing? And also, what is this blanket? What do you think? What do you think if they got away suddenly and she fell down to the ground? She was got a very bad injury, right? So, what is the implied meaning of this picture? We will see after seeing the video and knowing what they are doing and who are these people. Okay, now we are going to see a video about uh, what they are, what are they doing in the in the in the picture in the first picture in Alice. These people are her family and her friends. So, if she don't trust them, and if she don't know whether they are going to fall her to the ground or not, what will happen? She wouldn't go there, right? This is a clue. This picture and this activity and this video is a clue for something very, very important which is the importance of friendship and the importance of family in your life. Exactly in this example, if they got away and failed her, she will fall down to the ground and she will have bad injury. But they are supporting her. They are supporting her to have fun. And that's what happens in real life. We support each other. We have friends that we can rely on them and trust them. And the word trust means to be able to give this person all your secrets, all your deepest secrets, your sadness, your happiness. You share your moments with this person. This is the true friendship. The true, the true friend never fails you. 
never puts you in a situation that fails you or puts you to the ground. He always raises you up and up. Okay, so this video or this picture gives us a clue about how friendship and family are so important in our lives. This is a trust. She trusted them to cough her up and down without fear because she knew that they will be there, down there. They will never fail her or go away. Okay. Now you get the meaning of the picture and you got the meaning and the idea of this reading or this reading would be about two things, friends and fun. Friends it is implied in the activities that you do, you are doing with your friends and the fun is in the activity itself and we are going to deal with some activities during this reading point but firstly we have a caption here it says people it's a group of people taking part in a native blanket talk so blue I'm sorry, Cop, you, Alaska. Okay? Um, this is a place in Alaska called Cottage View. And this is their native country. So, what's the meaning of take for its end? It means to be active in something with other people. So, this is a phrasal verb. And we have to know that the phrasal verbs are verbs that is connected with a preposition like in, under, uh, down, with, out, up, okay? To give another meaning to the word or the verb. For example, the word take is a verb. If I use it as a verb, it means to take something from somebody. But if I said take part in, it means to participate, to take uh, to, to, to be involved with in something. Are you taking part in the school sport day? Are you sharing? Are you getting involved in this? Are you um, <laughs> are you in? The, the second word is native. Native. Mm -hmm. It's an adjective. It means belonging or relating to the people who are from a particular area so area i'm sorry so um native the native country of somebody is the is the country that he was born in okay this is his native country okay maybe he will live in another country after that but his origin original country is this place, for example, Egypt. So, Egypt is Maya's native country. That means she was born in this country, but now she's living in Sweden. It can have another category as now. Blanket. Blanket is a thick cover for a bed. Here in the factory, they are using a thick Blanket. Maybe it's made of the skin of an animal to to be strong in order to be able to hold the bird up and down. It's so it's so thick in order to to be strong and hold her. It's cool tonight, but but I'm sorry. Put another blanket on your bed. So is a noun. It means a true. It can be a verb, like, took the ball. I'm giving you an order. The boy took the, the, the ball to his friend. It can be a verb. Okay. We have another category, page 18 in the booklet. Uh, some words for the reading. Let's read it together. Wednesday. Wednesday. It's a, a day of the week. It's a noun. Drunk. 
It's a noun. Okay, let's see what's the meaning of drama. Any drama is originally a play made on a theater. So, an author wrote a play, have, a char have characters, have settings, have problems and solutions. Okay? And the, the actors and the actresses, they took this play and changed it into a drama by acting it on a theater. So, again, an author wrote a play, it has characters, maybe real or fictional, it has setting, place and time, it has problem and solution. And another person take this play and decided to make it as a drama. How to make it as a drama? To act it on a theater. Nick enjoys his drama class and he went, wants to be an actor. The adjective of drama is dramatic. When I see a movie, I see a dramatic movie, it means it's uh, not so happy, not so... Um, it has a lot of drama, it has a lot of actions, the problems, the solutions, and Okay, theater, a building or area where people go, go to watch people acting, playing music or singing. So this is, this is the theater, we can go and watch people doing a lot of things like playing music, singing or acting as well. Our ballet classes Bath is doing a show in the school theater today on Friday. Okay. Theoretical, it means it's, it's an adjective. It means to be acted on a theater. Club. What's the meaning of club? A place where people meet to take part in a common activity or interest. For example, if we have a chess club or um, for example uh, origami origami club so we do the same thing in in this uh, club together and we enjoy doing this activity or any interest we make a club and we do this thing specifically Marina goes to the to uh, to a swimming club swimming club. So all the participants in this club are just swimming three times a week. Tuesday it's a day of the week. Friday day of the week. Running it's a noun. The sport of running on a track. Before we all know it. And the verb of it is run. The noun is runner. Chess. A board game for two players. Okay, who follow the special rules to move pieces across black and white squares. For sure, we, we know the chess. Okay, it's, a, it's a very mental uh, board game and it's very interesting. Okay, it has two persons. Two players playing against each other. Uh, one takes the white, the white board or the white um, uh, object, and the other takes the white one, black and white, and they just it's like um, it's a mental game and it's very fun. Monday is the day of the week. Bangara, it's a kind of a rubber dance uh, style from India and you will see later a video about this dance it's very interesting Thursday is another day of the week okay 
tree dance, another kind of tree, a kind of modern dance like hip hop, and we see it all over the world. It's more common. It's uh, they dance in the street. It 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 came originally from the street for the people who don't have the 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 facilities and don't have much money to go to uh, dance classes and they have the gift and they have the 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 talent to dance so they choose to dance in the street and people know them and people love them so it comes originally from the street and it's so so much fun and so interesting and it's also um like very vivid and very alive. Saturday is the day of the week. Missing. It's an adjective. Not included or not in the place where it, it usually is. So if I miss my book, I don't have it. It's missing. Okay. Miss is a verb. It's the verb of missing. Days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. Five seconds. Go ahead, get out of here, girl. Come on. All right. You're the worst one anyway. All right. Let's go. Start with the baby. You can make, make the, come on up. Make sure the baby can see this. All right. Let's go. Thank you. Whew, I'm so Waiting for them to leave. Okay. Not, not that I don't like them or anything, but uh, she's the ex and she's always around. All right. Let's get this thing going. On three, lots of energy. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, don't kill the baby, okay? <laughs> about to throw him away. All right, now, without further ado, when we say what time is it, everybody here say showtime. What time is it? Showtime! Oh, they ready. Let's go. DJ, drop the beat. Here we go. Drop the beat, 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 beat. That's loud. What's up today? Everybody jump. Let's go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. That's my favorite place. Watch him, watch him. Oh, it's first Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Don't worry, kids, it's just a black guy. Here we go. All the way from Los Angeles, we've got Mr. Kiko. Yes, 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 bring it on, bring it on. Hey, I know that. Here we go, here we go. Turn it, pretty good, pretty good. Footwork master, let's go. Squeeze, crowd, give it up, y'all. Next up, next up. Who we have, who we have? High five, girl. Uh-uh. She likes it. Everybody clap your hands like this, come on. From Belgium. Hey. Bam! I think you want to see some more. Bring it on, bring it on. Play. Airplane. 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 Down. Up. Hey, 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 hey. Bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, make some noise. All right, all right. Next up, next up, for this next one here, he's gonna try to do 10 flares. Now let's come together all the way to 10. Here we go. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, clap, clap, clap. Let's go, let's go. Oh, high five, mama. Call me, Anna. Here we go to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, 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 that was just the war maps. If you guys want to see more, say yeah! Yeah! Uh-uh. Say oh yeah! Oh yeah! Say hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, I like Coca-Cola. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Kids don't drink this. It's bad for you, okay? <laughs> hey, DJ, next song. Let's pump it up. Hey, next level. Let's go crazy on this one. Here we go. Everybody clap, come on, clap, clap. Let's go, let's go, it's the part of the show. When we do all the crazy moves, let's get crazy all together. Let's do this, here we go. Let's go. 
Okay, now let's go to the practice group. I'm sorry, uh, let's go to the uh, student book here, page 18, page 18, activity A. Work with a partner, match each sentence with a picture. So before, before we start, I want you to think what are these activities. Okay, for example, the first one, the, the boy, he is swimming. The second one, yes, I can hear you, a chess club or playing chess. Third one, yes, it's a street dance. D, they are running. E, they are having a musical play. And we are going to, to see a video about what is meant by a musical play. It's a play made on the theater, as we say, a play made as a drama, acted on a theater, but the script is not just words. No, the script is musical. Okay, we will see this in the video later. They are playing and if they are playing basketball. So give yourself pause the video for five minutes and try to get and try to just uh, match between the pictures and the sentences below. Okay, the answers to this. Um, I go swimming every Wednesday. A. We do drama at theater at theater club on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. E. My mom goes running every evening. D. My brother plays chess at the school chess club every Monday. B. I play basketball at the weekend. I like doing sport. F. He goes Bangara. He does Bangara on Tuesday, on Thursday and street dance on Saturday. As you can see here, we find some verbs like go, do, and play. And let's see what are the difference between them in in the different kinds of games. Okay. Now we are going to know the difference between three verbs that we saw in the last activity, which are play, do, and go. What are the dif what is the difference between them? Play it comes with the games which are played in teams like football, volleyball, tennis. So, they are related to team games. Do, it comes with games that are played individually. It also comes with games that, <clears throat> that uh, have some force or violence like judo and karate. It comes also with the uh, dances like street dancing or uh, like street dance or uh, bangara dance. Go, it comes with only the games that end with ING, like swimming or skateboarding. So, okay, another activity B. Read the sentences again. Which day of the week is missing? So, in the first sentence, we have Wednesday. In the second one, we have Tuesday and Friday. In the third one, we have like nothing I mean specifically the days of the week because if you are thinking she's doing it every evening no I mean the days of the week I need you to pick up the days of the week here we have Monday and then five the week at the weekend we have also Saturday and Thursday. So, what do you think the missing one is? Give yourself five minutes to think 
and then you will see the answer. Okay, yes, Sunday. Very good. Because we have Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But we didn't mention Sunday. Yeah, this is the missing one. Okay, activity C. Look at the photos of Aisha and Sanjay. What do you think their hobbies are? So, the first one, she's holding a script. She's standing with her club in a theater. And the second one is a boy wearing a very colorful costumes and he's dancing and having fun. So, give yourself a minute to think. What are their main hobbies here? For me, I think... The first one, she is participating in a drama club. She's reading her script in order to have her drama acted on the theater. The second one, I think he is doing a Bangara dance, which is an Indian dance. They wear colorful costumes and they have fun in it. Okay. Let's see the voc some vocab. Okay, let's see some vocabulary that we are going to use. This is in page 18. Okay, let's strike the, the vocab in page 18. Patient. Patient is an adjective. <clears throat> As the ability to be able to stay calm and not to get angry easily. Yes, this is called a patient person. He doesn't get bored easily. Olga is very patient with children, so she is a good teacher. And the adjective and the noun from it, patient. Wait, the verb. Stay somewhere until something happens, or somebody or something comes to you. We are waiting for the film to start. We can be also a verb, sorry, a noun. Shy is an adjective. To be quiet and not easily able to talk to new people. So, don't be shy. My friends want to talk to you. And the noun from it is shyness. This is it. Is an adjective. It means not easy and very hard or hard. Chess is a difficult game, but it's fun. The noun from it is difficulty. Smile, it's a verb. To use your mouth to show you are happy. Look at the camera and smile, please. Smile can be a noun too. Homework. Work that your teacher gives you to do at home. I do my homework after dinner every day. Sociable. It's an adjective. Somebody who likes talking to other people. The Browns are a very sociable family. And they like having parties in their garden. Friendly. It's an adjective. It means kind and sociable. Someone who is very kind and friendly is easy to deal with. Frank's dog is very friendly with children. Friend and friendship are the nouns for friendly. The word focus. Here, this is in the book, in page 18 to homework. The work given by teachers, the teachers for students to do at home. Hungry, the feeling that you are, that you want to eat something. Laugh, what you do when something is very fun. Play, not the verb, play as a noun is a drama you can see at the theater as we previously explained. 
show what the meaning of a show show something that is seen at the theater so the whole drama is a show because it's acted on a theater and all the people see it it's a show often with singing and dancing not also the drama maybe any activity on the theater it can be a show stage the place in the theater that where the actors the interior singers do the show the stage is the place itself the wood they are standing on the place um, they are acting on actually this is the stage like we have in the school we have a stage the theater is the whole place with audience and actors but the stage is the place for only the actor again the difference between theater and stage theater is the place where all the participants the audience and the actors are in but the stage is the place where the actors or the singers or the dancers stand on to do their performance Here, here is another set of words. Creative means good at making things or having new ideas, like drawing or, or, or having origami, or, uh, for example, um, doing something not everybody can do. This is creativity. To be creative, okay, to do things out of the book. The verb form it is create and the noun is creation and creativity. Okay, let's now go to page 18 and 19, the fourth or the, 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 the vocab related to these words. Play as a noun, a show performed by actors in, the, in a theater. There is a great play on uh, on at the sea or on or at the theater on Thursday. Let's go see. Play as a verb to play and player is the one who plays. Musical. Musical. A show with music and singing. And we will see an example of it now. Show. What's the meaning of a show? A theater play or musical program on the radio or TV, all these are shows, TV show, hmm. a radio show, whatever, okay, repeat, to say or do the same thing again and again, again and again, many times, we need to do our dance again and again to get it right. Stage, as we said before, is an area in front of the theater where people stand to do a show. The singer is coming on to the stage now. Stage can be a verb too. Theater, the, the, the word theater is related to some other words like drama, an instrument, line, musical, play, show and stage. We have another word called extra. It's more than usual. I do something extra, extreme. It's not the usual, no. More than the usual. We have got extra homework. That means not the usual amount of homework, no, extra. Probably it means that might happen. Maybe or maybe not happen. Probably is the adjective of it. Probably is an adverb. This magical multi award winning production tells the story of the Okay, let's see now. a video. With a special super it's related to the musical Zizi Stral and Charlie Play Step, as Judicon, said before. and the cast of Mary let's Poppins. See how it's done.
Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim charu. I does what I likes and I likes what I do. Today, I'm a screamer, and as you can see, a screamer's an artist of highest degree. And it's all me own work from me own memory. So as you can see, Oh, I'd know that cinema Here's anywhere. the actor of nice the play was singing it must say you in a musical well. way. How do you know you? So this is you called know you. musical You've rock. Just arrived. I wasn't born one minute before I walked into your house, Michael Banks. Have you met these two birds? I've seen them running about chasing a kite. It isn't a real kite. Oh, so, what are you up to? I thought we could play our next game. What game? A visit to St Paul's. That's not a game. If she says it's a game, she's got someone in mind. You can be certain of that. Best foot forward. Speed spot. Feed the birds. Tuppence. Tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag. Feed the birds, sir. There's that horrible woman. Don't point. And for your information, she is not in the least horrible. But she's just a bundle of rags. When will you learn to look past what you see? Hurl each day to the steps of St. Paul's, the little old bird woman comes. In her own special way to the people she calls. Come by my bags full of crumbs. Come feed the little birds, show them you care. And you'll be glad if you do. The young ones are hungry, the nests are so bare. All it takes is tuppence from you. Tuppence a bag Tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag Feed the birds, that's what she cries While overhead her birds fill the skies What are you doing? I'm going to give her my sixpence What a waste! That's a matter of opinion here, one bag, please. Save your sixpence. All around the cathedral, the saints and apostles look down as she sails away. Although you can't see them, you know they are smiling each time. You'd almost think he could talk. Uh, now that's enough of that. But can Willoughby really talk? Of course he can. 
It's getting him to stop that's the problem. Now come along, I can't stand here all day talking shop. Talking shop? What a silly expression. There's nothing silly about it in the least. What do you buy in a talking shop? Conversations, of course. But there's no such thing as a talking shop. Remember, anything can happen if you let it. Good day to you, Mrs. Corey. Well, 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 if it isn't Mary Poppins oh. with Jane and Michael Banks. <laughs> now, Mary Poppins, what can I do for you? Well, I did want an ounce of conversation. Oh, oh, of conversations, and I'm right out of words, too. But I do have some letters and a little bit of back chat. Oh. <laughs> an ounce, sir? Oh. That'll be 15 letters. Go on, take your pick. Jane, you can choose seven. I've got a D, G, R, U, C, L, and I. They're no good. You can't make a conversation out of them. Michael, your turn. Seven more. A, F, S, E, T, O, and P. And I'll choose an X. <gasps> now, what words can we make? Well, I see dog and cat. Multiplex, that's nine! Lapatophorus, that's eleven. <laughs> Nearly there. Those don't count. You made them up. And where do you think words come from in the first place? Somebody had to make them up. Hmm. You know, you can always use the same letter more than once. <gasps> now, let me see. Super Cali, Fragilistic, Expialidocious! That's <laughs> not a word! Of course it's a word. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I think it's going to prove a rather useful one. When trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd to leave through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word. A little spontaneity keeps conversation clean. You need to find a way to say precisely what you Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilistic expialidocious I'm the little But it doesn't mean anything It can mean exactly what you want it to When Stone Age men were chatting, simply grunting would suffice Though if they heard this word, they might have used it once or twice. I'm sure Egyptian pharaohs would have grasped it in that gif. Then every single pyramid would bear this hieroglyph. Oh, supercalifragilistic, espialidocious. Say it, and wild animals will not seem so ferocious. Add some further flourishes, it's so rococo gosh. Your breath before you speak in case it's halitocious. <laughs> you know, you can say it backwards, which is swimming could alive, fit to sell a girl for the creepers. She may be tricky, but she's bloody good. <laughs> Your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just sum it up this word, and then you've got a lot to say. Get out those 18 consonants and 16 vowels as well, and put them in an order which is still very hard to spell. <clears throat> S S U U P P E E R R C A L I F F R A G I L 
L. I S T I C E X T I A L I D O C I A U S. Clever clogs. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C E X T I A L I D O C I O U S. is a man who became a star. Okay. Okay, now we have to read the text and check all our ideas and vocab that we already gathered and took throughout the previous uh, slide. Okay. What we do for fun. Aisha. My name is Aisha. I go to a drama club twice a week and I love it. We do plays and musical theater. It's great because our family and friends come to our shows two or three times a year. We need to be patient because we always learn a lot of words and we have to repeat them again and again. Drama and singing is okay if you are usually a shy person because it's different when you are on stage. Mr. Red Grace is our drama teacher and he is very creative. He always has fantastic ideas. I see my friends at drama club and we laugh a lot. I love it. It's never boring. Okay, this is for Aisha. Okay, and we have some information about her that she loves drama. She goes to it twice a week. So how many times? Two times. Okay. Uh, she has sometimes plays and sometimes musical theater. She loves her friends and she loves to come to the shows. And her friends come to the shows with her two or three times a year. We need to be patient in this kind of activity they have to be very patient because they always learn a lot of words a lot of lines and try to read them once and again and again in order to be very perfect at the end okay drama and singing is okay if you are usually shy so to get out of being shy you can participate in an activity like drama. It will make you break the ice and break this shyness and be more brave. 
He took the Lord her teacher and have created. He is and have how he has fantastic ideas. And they and she also said that she see her friends and they love a walk and she loves it. It's never boring for her. On the other hand, we have Sanjay. My name is Sanjay. My friend Nanit and I go to Bengara classes. Bengara is a dance style. It's fun and the classes are very sociable. You need to be friendly. We always smile when we dance and energetic or sporty. Nanit and I usually go once a week on Thursdays, but we sometimes have extra classes or shows at weekends. Thursday is my favorite day because Nanit always comes to my to my house for pizza. After the air classes, we are always very hungry, and we sometimes play video games and for an hour after our home. So what we include from Sanjay here, we include that he is. So what we see from here that he has a close friend and they do the Bangara dance. They love their classes. They are, it's very fun for them. Or they are very fun because uh, it's energetic and suitable and friendly. Okay? And sometimes they have extra classes and weekends. And what also we have that they are very friend, friendly and they eat together, they have days together, um, and they do their homework after that. Okay, now we are going to see a video about the band Gara dancing uh, and how much fun is it and how they dance it. As you can see, it's fun, it's colorful, it's telling, energy, or energetic. <laughs> yes. And it's so, um, fun.
Okay. Now we have exercise E. Read the text again, the text again, and circle the correct name. So according to the text that we already read about Asia and sun drives, we are going to just make a circle uh, about the name that is related to the activity in uh, in the question. Okay. Give yourself five minutes to read the text again, the two texts again, one more time, and then we are going to see the answers together and discuss it to discuss it together. Okay, here here we are. After you have paused the video, now number one, who goes to classes with friends? As we said in the in the in the passage that Sinjai goes with his friends to the Bangara classes and they love it and they have fun in it together. Who always have a lot of words to learn? Okay, words to learn are related to drama. So who is, who is learning or who, or who is having the hobby of uh, performing or acting drama? Asia. Okay, sometimes does their hobby, uh, does their hobby more than one day a week? Yes, as we said, Sanjay perform his uh, his hobby like twice a week or three times a week. Always does their hobby two days a week. Asia, yeah. So more than one day, maybe three days. But here, two days a week twice a week it was written like that twice a week asia who has fun time with friends asia as you can see she is a shy girl and she joined the drama club in order to not to be shy so she has much time much fun time with her friends in the drama club asia who eats who eats pizza at friends house once a, once a week Sanjay, yes, Sanjay eats pizza. That was at the and the last part in the reading passage. Okay. Exercise F. Read the exam close up. Then match each question question word uh, in one to four with another with the with an answer from the books. Okay. Before it, we have to read the exam close-up read the whole conversation first to understand the situation think about the kind of answers or information that missing for example person place or time or thing look for uh, question words what when or who help to choose uh, uh, to help you to, to choose the answer so here we have question words when who where and what and we have some words so each word of these are related to one question one question word okay here we have the answers here so we have the choices guitar classes my uncle alan on friday paris so if i'm talking about when i'm talking about what a time or place for sure a time so where is the time here on friday who it talks about a person so where is the person here out of all these choices my uncle alan where it asks us about place place so where is the place here paris it's a country what it, it talks about things where are the things here guitar things or sometimes uh, classes or, or things like that so guitar classes or courses so here we're going back to the exercise here number one you need to a sentence with okay number one you need a sentence with uh, with hobbies as we said number two we need 
the answer probably begins with because because the question is related to why in three the answer probably begins with yes or no in four you need a sentence similar to great or yeah or never or who but that's great is possible in number five you need a sentence with a day or days of the week okay uh, as you can see here the answers of the exam task what activities do you do after school number one is C I do Bangara classes so as he said in the other exercise we are looking for hobbies number two why do you go to, to chess club a I go because it's difficult but I'd like I'd, I but I like it a lot Three, does Namit go to chess club with you? B, yes. So, so it's a yes, no question. Yes, he does. He's very good. I'd like to come to chess club with you. G, great, as we said, great or it's fun. When is it? E, it's on one day. He choose a week, a day, uh, a day in the week. Here we are, we have some words that will help us in the next activity. Laugh, it's a verb. Make a sound with your mouth to show you are happy or something is funny. The play is very funny, so everyone is laughing a lot. Laugh can be a noun. Laugher is a noun too. Boring is an adjective. It means not interesting. I like playing chess, but watching other people play is boring. Bore is the verb. Bore can also be a noun. Bored is an adjective. Okay. Style, it's a noun. A way of doing something. What's your favorite dance style? Do you like hip hop? Stylish is the adjective of style. Energetic, it's an adjective with a lot of energy that doesn't get tired easily. The noun of it is energy. Sporty, sporty, adjective, good at or liking sports. I'm not a sporty person, but I, but I enjoy dancing. The noun from it is sport. Another part of the of the of the vocab tired it's an adjective needing to sleep or relax I'm tired so I'm going to bed now the verb is tire and the adjective is tiring active it's an adjective always go always doing a lot of activities like sport the verb from it is act Action and activity are the nouns. So size I. Find the words in red below in the text on page 18. Choose the correct words from one from sentence one to six. To the, then tell your partner which sentences are true for you. So here have five minutes. In order to just ident identify the adjective related to each of these definitions. Okay, here, here we are the answer. I find it difficult to talk to new people. As we said, the shy person is a person who have a, difficult, a difficulty in uh, talking to others easily. I love tennis and football. The person who loves sports is called sporty. I don't get tired. I love being active. The person who is always active is energetic. I can wait for a long time. So the person who can have a long time in waiting is a patient person. 
I'm good at art and making clothes. He's a creative person for sure. I like meeting new people and I like uh, parties. A friendly person and social too. Sociable, I'm sorry. Okay, now we are in the workbook. Activity A. Read the exam reminder. Please open your activity book with me. Your workbook. Um, and yes, in the first page. In the reading. Activity A. Uh, read the exam reminder. What is the conversation in the exam task about? First, read the conversation to find out what it is about try to work out what type of answer the missing information could be question words like who what and when will help you to choose the correct answer so the exam task here What do you like doing online? Let's see the answers. D. I like playing games and watching skateboarding events. Why do you watch skateboarding events? B. I watch them because I think it's the sport is exciting. Do you go to, to these events too? F. Yes, I do. I go twice a month. When? When is the next one? When is the next one? C. I think it's a couple, a couple of weeks. Five. Do you go with anyone else? G. I do. My friend Oscar comes with me. Comes with me. Okay. Okay, so here after having the exam, now the exam and the uh, the exam task, yeah. Uh, so the whole conversation is about watching and going to skateboard events. Okay, thank you for listening to me for the reading part in unit two. I hope you enjoy it.